Thank you. So um, I'm Jane Matheson, and this is Sylvia Novak from Faber and Faber. Um, although I'm on the list as uh, Jane Matheson from Manchester, I actually represent Time to Read, which is a Northwest partnership of um, library authorities in the whole region working together on reader development projects. Um, so I'm very relieved there isn't time for questions because I wouldn't actually be able to answer any specific <laughs> questions on, on either of our projects. Uh, but my two colleagues in the audience, Julie Bell from Lancashire Libraries and Jeanette, Holton from, uh, Jeanette Fleming from Holton Libraries, wave. <laughs> um, if you do have questions afterwards, they'll, they'll be the people to, to ask. Um, so the project in the Northwest um, was um, aim, aiming to reach families. Um, families were to be encouraged to use digital media to share their love of reading with each other um, and with other library users and, of course, with the digital world beyond. And publishers um, would get feedback from, from readers, um, both of their current titles and new titles. So Lancashire's aim specifically were to, um, sorry, I'm going so fast now, I haven't explained. The Northwest Project was um, Halton Libraries, which is the region's smallest authority, um, with four libraries only, um, but um, with um, a v quite an extensive use already and quite a lot of autonomy in using digital media. So Halton Libraries were already using Facebook, blogging, Twitter, and had a lot of reading group members already signed up with an online um, reading group that exists, Goodreads. So Halton haven't set up their own online reading group, they're using the Goodreads website. Lancashire is very different. Lancashire is one of our biggest authorities. Um, it's a big rural county with lots of libraries um, using social media, um, but in a very corporate way. So everything's very centralised and the uh, individual library staff uh, don't have much autonomy in how they can use digital media. So just coming back now, um, Lancashire's aims were to engage with the local community around reading, learning and information. They wanted to develop new partnerships to add mutual value, and they wanted to increase participation in reading activities, particularly digitally. And Holton wanted to develop the digital offer to raise the profile of the service and to attract and engage new customers, and they wanted increased partic participation and engagement in reading and learning activities. The intention at the start was to have a two-stage project. We, they wanted to engage families um, getting, get families to use social media and then move on to a stage two, particularly trialling online reading groups, reading um, isolated readers and potentially using Google+. Plus. Um, unfortunately, the challenges of time um, sort of overtook us and um, really the, the first stage of the project is, is where we're at now, but I'm hoping that you'll see that... Um, um, it, was, it became quite well developed. So these are Halton's aims and objectives. Um, as I said, the context is Halton were already using social media fairly extensively. There was active use of online reading group, Goodreads, Twitter accounts, Facebook page, YouTube, and a blog. And they wanted this project to develop and promote this use and encourage a wider range of people to start using them. Lancashire had corporate Facebook, Twitter, and Flickr accounts, um, but individual staff weren't using these um, very creatively. Um, and the idea of this project was um, very much around um, developing staff skills and staff awareness. And then also, I guess, sharing that with the families that were part of the project. Yeah. Definitely, And I think the, yes. the sort of interesting thing around the families, and it's been sort of mirrored in a lot of the, the, the sort of talks and projects here, but was around that idea of, of building community through people within the community being able to champion books, and whether that's digitally through social media or actually physically in, in libraries. Families were recruited using um, social and local media, um, newspapers and radio, as well as word of mouth and advertising. And um, I know that P Lancashire in particular have said that the actual engagement of families uh, using the digital, digital media has been 
quite difficult. There was quite a lot of suspicion among some of the families about wanting to use Facebook in particular, you know, bad press stories, bad coverage of, of Facebook actually was, was a deterrent. Um, and for that reason, um, both authorities developed Pinterest sites. Um, this is just a screen grab of, of um, the Lancashire Pinterest. I do urge you both to uh, all to go and look at these sites um, because they, they really... Um, very well populated. There's lots of images, lots of images of the families and the individual people who've taken part in the projects. And I think that idea of developing the families, sort of the members of the families as, as kind of champions or advocates is reflected in that because you sort of have people, photos of people literally holding up the books that they're championing, which is really lovely. Yeah, so what actually happened was families were identified in both library authorities and they were asked to recommend specific titles. Um, so across the generations and across um, genres and themes of reading. And uh, roughly uh, 30 books were recommended by each family that became engaged in the project. And those books were sourced by the librarians. Um, they were displayed in libraries. Some libraries had Family of the Week. Um, the Jones family are reading this. Um, and that information was also um, broadcast on social media. And the families were invited to contribute reviews for blogs, Twitter feeds, and Facebook. Um, there was a surprising difference between the two authorities. I've already said that the Lancashire families were a bit more difficult to engage with, with using social media. <coughs> Halton families, on the other hand, were very keen. Um, and I asked why that was. And, um, one of the ways that the families in Holton were recruited to the project was through Facebook. So families that came forward to take part in the project were already using Facebook and were already engaged with social media, or some of them were. Um, so therefore, um, it was in some respects um, easier to get um, reviews and information direct from the families in Holton than it was in Lancashire. But I think that's a very interesting learning point in itself. And Lancashire libraries have said to me that a very important aspect of the project for them has been finding out what families are prepared to engage with and, and use. And it's probably the, the one aspect that's going to evolve the most over the coming years if the promotion gets repeated, because these things will change and people's sort of comfort at using these services will, will begin to shift or we begin to evolve. And both projects identified that they needed to work much further with a wider group of staff, um, as staff are still reluctant to use social media themselves and are therefore not able to talk to confidently to the public about it. I had to share this photo, one of the cutest photos ever to reach my desk. This was a, a success story that brought lots of publicity um, to the local libraries in Holton. This was seven-year-old Charlotte, who provided a wonderful review of Library Lion, um, which ended with, every library should have a lion. Um, <laughs> this was picked up by the local press, as well as online. Um, and it's just an example of how, I think somebody else earlier said, you can use these digital developments to generate um, local press and radio interest. Um, so I'm going to hand over to Sylvia now just to give her perspective on um, the challenges of working with this project as a publisher. Um, we, were, we were partnered with three publishers initially. Unfortunately, one withdrew at an early stage. Um, of the two remaining publishers, Raintree um, publish mainly children's titles, and they very generously provided titles for the reading families. Um, the idea was that families would, would read and, and review. Um, and Faber was our other partner. So I'd like Sylvia to say yeah. how she wants to say, see it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think um, from the publisher perspective and also personally, one of, the, one of the sort of biggest areas that I felt we were able to contribute in one of the most kind of eye-opening ones were the face-to-face the -face sessions. And a lot of people have said that, and it, it's that sort of within a digital project, actually the most valuable bit is the face-to-face is the -face bit. And so actually those kind of sessions, I think we came up with ideas that maybe we wouldn't have come up with separately because suddenly you sort of see the challenges that everyone faces and you also see the amazing work that's already being done. I mean, the, the sort of vision into what's already happening and, and the, kind of, the kind of projects and the kind of promotions that were already happening, the two authorities, 
sort of, I think, sparked some of the ideas that we had. And so that was a really vital part of it and got to travel up to Preston, which is good fun. <laughs> <laughs> Although I did get sick on the train. But I didn't tell you that. Oh, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then, you know, in that, in that sort of sharing of, of experience, I think, which is really vital and also just starting up that, that relationship that can, that can now sort of progress um, hopefully, and you know, we'd love to be involved in the family's promotion next year if it happens, and, and various things. And then the other, there, there are sort of more traditional ways that which we helped. So access to books, and we provided a lot of uh, titles for the family promotion that tried to kind of capture the different demographics. Um, we also actually had a, had a lo local author with a publication right, like bang on when the project was starting, which is very lucky. And so it, we got to tie into his kind of author tour, and um, that was a really nice part of it. And actually. Getting authors involved in the promotions was is the one way that I think we'd, we'd probably like mm -hmm. things to go forward because it, it adds a really nice dimension to it, um, definitely. And then, you know, you mentioned about the, the Google, Google Plus mm -hmm. Hangout-based reading groups, and that's something that we'd still obviously love to do, and we ran out of time, I think, because actually because mainly because the family's promotion became incredibly big and sort of um, lasted longer than, than we thought maybe initially. Um, but hopefully it's kind of a, uh, a starting point for further, further promotions and, and ideas and projects. Thank you, Sylvia. Um, so just uh, to come to the outcomes of the project, this is Holton's uh, slide on, on, on outcomes for them. I mean, obviously across the both projects, uh, many families are now using digital communication more than they were at the start of the project. Uh, more staff are understanding about how to set up accounts and use different social media platforms. Um, the innovative nature of the work, I think, secured excellent local coverage of the project in local press. We hope that two local authority ICT teams have understood more about social networking as an engagement tool for library services. Um, for the future, um, Holton definitely want to continue the project and mainstream it as a library of activity. Um, some participants in this project have joined the Holton online reading group on Goodreads. They're using the hashtag Holton Reads regularly on Twitter, um, and they have a cohort of young reading activists from, um, who are moving on from the Young Voices Reading Agency project, who are now taking part in digital reading clubs. And they have a really active focus group that can be used for further consultation for other projects. Lancashire intend to run a digital families project again this summer. They've developed a review page on their website and more readers continue to add their comments. This will be part of their next marketing campaign, which is called Pass It On. And they also linked this project to uh, Family Learning Week last October and discovered and used the Storybird website uh, which will continue to be used to connect with more families digitally. And um, talking to Julie from Lancashire, she, she, she was saying how, um, how much easier using the Storybird site uh, made it to engage families than the initial uh, discussions around Facebook. Um, so that's been another learning point. And of course, both authorities now have a much closer link with two publishers, which we hope will be built on. And for the North West, um, we have two ex excellent examples of using social media to reach a targeted family audience that will be shared. Um, so it's just after five. Um, the last two slides, if they're going to be circulated, have all the contact details and the links um, for all the work that's happened in Lancashire and Holton. This isn't a wrap-up event for us. Um, we hope to... In um, organize a skill sharing event in our region so that the uh, two library authorities work can be shared with with other authorities in the Northwest um, so I will be asking them to contribute to that event um, as well as possibly some of the other speakers we've heard today so thank you very much mm -hmm.